Now then, YouTube, I am the Tough Man, and welcome back to The Sims 3. We're on episode 29 now, I believe. And um, not very good times are being had by Theodore and Lily at the moment. Uh, Lily, really, uh, all about her, once she's finished eating, uh, once she's finished sleeping, she's just going to grab some food and she'll be fine. Uh, Theodore does require a little bit more work. Um, he's been called, he's been called out on call now, I think, for three nights in a row, which... Uh, this is why this is what happens. So what kind of lifetime happiness is he at? He's nowhere near getting anywhere near that dirt defiant. Um I really wanted to work on some of these, but I can't do that if he's not gonna get promoted, so uh win a ranked chess match uh, mm, make at least two hundred and fifty simoleons a week in royalties where he's got two hundred and thirty two at the moment. We can get there. We'll get there eventually, guys. Um, Lawrence is the only one that's actually kept, kept himself to himself, got on with the job, and uh, he's, he's doing all right for himself. He's doing all right for himself. Lily Lum went to the, went to the uh, summer festival yesterday, whilst it was not raining. She went to the summer festival, enjoyed a few of the games, bought a firework that just really wasn't a firework at all. Um, it just like dribbled a little bit of colour, and that was it. So. There you go. Great stuff. Um, it's raining currently. Is it still raining currently? No, but there is puddles all around the place. You can have water balloon fights. You can splash in the puddles as well. That's from uh, seasons. And you remember that from the last um, the last seasons expansion pack that was out for The Sims 2. I really enjoyed that. That had the addition. I think I much preferred the one in The Sims 2 because it had the addition of greenhouses, it had the addition of all sorts of different things to do that come with the seasons. And um, although this adds, you know, these these little festivals, that's all well and good. But uh, let's does it actually add the greenhouses anymore or or not? Because that was a very nice thing to have. I've got to say. Sort by collections. Some are not constrained to just walking and ta walking and taking taxi ride. They can purchase their own vehicles. I know that. I know that, of course. The Sims 3 seasons. Let's have a look at through some of this stuff. Even though it's really, really small. How do I get this? So it's click to increase it. Whoa, that's too many, too many items on a page at once there. So we've got barbecues, a lot of different stuff, but. What I really liked about it last time was it was the addition of the greenhouses. You see, you've got the additions now of the claw machines and stuff like that. There's, uh, well, fair stands and stuff like that. That's all well and good, but uh, I do like to have... Why can I not buy that then? 240 some aliens. I've got loads of dosh. Cannot be placed on this type of lot. You see, there's just, there's not much that comes that comes with it in terms of... Like what I said with the greenhouse and stuff. I enjoyed the see. I enjoyed the Sims 2 very, very much. I especially enjoyed Open for Business. I'm really, really hoping that they do bring something like that back in for Sims uh, for the Sims 3 because Open for Business was just absolutely brilliant. I loved that idea, and I loved the idea that a Sim could set a business up of their own, sell items that they created. That was great. That was absolutely great, and I do wish that something like that would uh, would rear its head again for the Sims 3. But uh, there's a stuff pack coming at uh, in January at some stage. I don't know when it is, but there is a stuff pack coming. Okay, let's quickly get him a shower, and then let's get him a quick meal because it's going to be the other way around now. Um, Theodore just needs some social behind him. He hasn't done much socialising, so that's not real good, is it? Let him get some cereal. But Lily Lum's back to normal now. She's feeling fine. He's still in the shower. Um, he's going to have to wait until his dinner to eat. So he's not going to have a good day at all. He's gone off to college now. Theodore's gone off to work, which means Lily Lum is sat there playing on the computer. That's not what's going to be happening. You will be continuing on painting because I really want to try and get you for painting that one that's worth over 500 simoleons that you don't have to actually use for an opportunity. That would be very, very nice indeed. So how long? She's about halfway through that painting now. You've left way too many papers on the lot. No worries. That's easily sorted, and I'm going to do that right now because I keep forgetting. Call. 
Just quick work, call for services. Wait until she's finished her painting and that and that'll come up. I'm sure it's called for services and then you go to like mail delivery or something, delivery man or whatever it is. And um, you say, you ask for no more to be delivered. So he really hasn't having a good time at all, Theodore. He will get his dinner sometime soon though. I think it's about 1 o'clock, 1, one o'clock and uh, p.m. That's when he gets his dinner and... Um, Hopefully that'll bring his mood up a little bit. The fun aspects, of course, because he's at work and still doing the boss's paperwork. Stop doing that; it's annoying. That's, you're not going to get anywhere doing that. Look, he's actually going down, guys. Um, he needs to do research, but there it is. He needs to do that research. What, what have you done? Have you done that? Sell for four hundred and eighty-nine simoleons, guys. And how long does she take to do that in really? Paint another large one please. Okay, so he's had his dinner and um he's gone up to an orange or it did go up to a slightly orangey colour there, but his fun is still going massively down and um he is losing performance really in his job, so that's not good. That really isn't very good at all. Right, you are going to do your homework first. The King's Crown look, Prom King. And then, of course, she's, he is going to then ring, what's the first? Just to have a chat with her because at the moment is, um, what's his mood? There it is. His social is way, way down and uh, we don't want that to happen. So, let's get him a shower. She's still there painting away. Let's get him a shower and then when he comes out of the shower he's going to whip out his phone, call a sim and uh, chat to what's the first. There we are. Benny Hennessy of course. Full moon time again look. Newspaper delivery cancelled. That's what I want to see. Okay, so now he's going to grab some more social aspect. Which is exactly what he needed. Theodore Lum is starting to feel a little bit ill. That doesn't surprise me. The guy has been... At the minute it's Jeremy. He is coming back home though, 322 simoleons. He's going to come back home, he needs fun, he needs to sleep. Lawrence has been eternally faithful to Benny. Lawrence has eternally faithful reputation. Nice. Someone around town has been spreading a rumour that Lawrence Lum got arrested. Who would do that? Really? I don't think he cares, to be quite honest. But we're going to go for sleep-ins. Lily Lum's still doing that large painting. We're going to leave her doing that. She might stop. Yeah, we're going to say she might stop now, actually. Because it's getting on. Time is getting on, guys. We've not done much in this episode, but I have explained a little bit about where I want to see The Sims go. I don't know what the stuff pack is. I haven't looked. Um, I don't think it's even announced yet. I, it, it probably is, but I just don't know what it is. Um, and then, of course, the expansion pack after the stuff pack. Fingers crossed, I really am hoping for another Open for Business. That was a very, very nice pack to have. So, Lawrence is the only one still up and about. And uh, he's in very good, very good nick as of late. Eternally faithful. He's got enough time, I was going to say, he's got enough time in to just squeeze in a little bit of practice chess. He's got enough time for that. Half an hour or so, what's this here? Watch the stars with Benny. <laughs> oh, he's got time to actually play hopscotch and get that one off his list. So let's have a look at Lawrence having a go at hopscotch at half past nine at night in The Sims. You didn't even chuck a stone, fella. What are you doing? Do you not do that? <laughs> and 
There's 150. A nice easy 150 as well. Hey, good stuff. Okay, 10:05 p.m. I think it's about time that you went into your bed for a good old sleep. And I need to really think about where I'm going to extend outwards. See what I'd like to do? Is bring the wall out this way, so that the house is enca you know encasing this little walkway in. That would be a very nice idea. Let's just go to build mode for a second. I want to uh, grab some stuff out of the way, actually. Grab that out of the way. Grab that out of the way. And what we're going to do, guys, we are going to get the walls tool. We're going to get the hand tool. There we are. We're going to get the hand tool. Now, does that do... It does do that entire wall. Can I not do it anymore this way? Can't find anything to grab. Can I intersect object... Oh, hang on a minute. Get these out of the way. Right, now you're in the way, little fella. Okay, what's going to happen here is uh, a bit of a problem, actually. Um, Yeah, what I'm going to have to do, guys, is oh, undo that, because that's totally wrong. That's better. And uh, totally get rid of that wall and that wall. And have something that looks a little bit like that. Uh Hmm Well there's that little bit sorted. Uh I need to get a bit of an eyedropper tool going on guys. With that And that there. And then inside, of course, is going to be another eyedropper tool there. For that. I don't think I'm going to need anything else anywhere. I think that's pretty much covered that. But that allows me now to move this room separately to the other. So look at the look at this house now. It's getting very large in, uh, in, in size, which is absolutely brilliant. Let's go back to the walls for just a second. I want to pull this wall out. It's going to be a little bit difficult and expensive. Or maybe not so much. But really what I wanted to do here was to create two doors. So what's going to happen is uh, when, when Lawrence here is woken up in the morning. I'm going to move his bedroom to one half of this room. The other half of the room I'm going to do for like the computer, the um, this object is not in use. Well, like like I said with this thing, um, let's get a another a one of those lights there. Let's get one of them in the middle. Right thereabouts. Uh, and also an eyedropper tool on that light there, and have that one across there. 
In fact, I'm probably going to want to move that one as well. And get an eyedropper tool on the windows. And get more of them placed around. Move that one slightly that way. And uh, one facing out that way. I think that's a really nice size thing to do there. Also, like I said, you've got the chest set as well. That's going to be in this little room that we've got here going on. I think I'm going to put the chest set right in the middle there. I think I'm going to whip that over there like that. Whip that around. Put the computer right in the corner. Uh, eventually... See, I don't think I like it right in the middle there. It's a problem. Put it there, that'll do. Uh, books and... Well, the sofa's there, so there's really no need for, to move the book. But, uh, eventually I want to move all this as well into a different room. But where, I wouldn't have a clue why I was going to put something like that. Maybe, like I said, if I do an upstairs or something, um, then maybe I can move the bed upstairs and then put the living room right here so that you're just popping in and out. And maybe then I might be able to just put a door straight in from there. And that would be a very good idea, actually. I think so. I'm thinking so. But if there's anything else of fun... That there, for example, doesn't belong in there. But it will have a wall in the middle, much like that. This side is slightly uh, larger. Never mind. Get an eyedropper tool on the wall there. Whip it straight across. And there you are. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy. Let's whip that across there, actually. Out of the way. Let's get a door. Or at least an eyedropper tool on that door, so we're not going to be confusing things. Okay. So now we're successfully getting the house bent around the path. And that's something that I wanted to try and incorporate. So I'm really happy that I've managed to be able to do that. Let's go to the walls now and pull this wall out just a slight little bit more. I think there's not enough gap, really, between there and there. That looks a lot better. But again, it's going to be the eyedropper tool. And a window right there. And a window right there. And that's it. That is it. You can see there's not much going on in his room at the moment. I'm just going to get an eyedropper tool for that door there. And put it like that. So, I'm thinking that that's looking pretty good, guys. Let's go up to the roof, of course, and make sure that everything is okay there. Yeah, that's fine. What's that? What is that? I don't know. I don't know, but I think that's pretty much covered it, guys. For the moment, of course, before I start moving things around when he's gone to school and the next day. So I think that pretty much covers this episode as well, guys. So, until next time, I've been a tough man. And as always, stay safe.